despite the CDC's recommendation to use cloth face coverings as a voluntary public health measure to slow the spread of COVID-19, people have descended on newly reopened areas, some with masks and some without. Since the mask became an official CDC recommendation in early April, tension around whether to wear masks in public has been building. Could you just take us through your thought process of why you decided not to wear well, a mask? Well, I did wear, I had one on before. I wore one in this back area, but I didn't want to give the press the pleasure of seeing it. He retweeted a photo of you wearing it. He's trying to belittle you for wearing a mask, um, making it seem like it's a sign of weakness, is it? He's a fool. The psychological footprint of a pandemic is bigger than the medical footprint. By that I mean more people are affected psychologically than they are the number of people who are actually infected. I work for Costco and I'm asking this member to put on a mask because that is our company policy. So either wear the mask or... And I'm not doing it because I woke up in a free country. And in highly individualistic societies where freedom is, is prized and expected and seen as a basic human right, if you... Um, uh, encroach on a person's freedom, you'll get this pushback, and that's called psychological reactance. Interestingly, if you told people that mask wearing was patriotic, then they would be rushing out to buy masks and wear them. So it all depends on the way the, the message is framed. Fueled by the anxiety and uncertainty about COVID-19, this mask debate has turned violent. <laughs> and even deadly. Mr. Munnerlin got into a verbal altercation over not wearing a mask before the shooting had taken place. I think what has, has fueled things is this is the first pandemic in the era of social media. And so all these dramatic images spread virally and rapidly. The people getting into fights over masks are a, a tiny minority of the population. Some of that conflict and confusion around wearing masks can be attributed to mixed messages during the early weeks of the pandemic. Right now in the United States, people should not be walking around with masks. It just makes common sense that it's not a bad idea to do that. It's not gonna be 100%. Why don't I just put some sort of covering there? But recently, there seems to be a new cultural divide emerging between those who choose to wear masks and those who don't. There's the cultural thing, um, masks are not macho, masks are associated with particular cultures, and so you think that macho white males might have difficulty putting on a mask. We're finding in our research is that people who are highly frightened about getting infected are also very frightened about being around strangers, with some people becoming more racist or xenophobic than others. And there's the other thing too is COVID-19 is very much a hidden pandemic. It's abstract and hidden and that can lead some people to downplay the threat. One study said 73% of self-identified Democrats report that they wear masks in public, while only 59% of Republicans say the same. Everything can be politicized and mask wearing could be politicized, but you know, people wear masks for, for psychological reasons to either make themselves feel safe or not wear them because of a fear of not being seen as macho or, or believing that it's a, an encroach on their freedom. Or well, some people don't wear masks simply because they're claustrophobic. They, they feel uncomfortable, they're not used to wearing them too. Ultimately, we've reached a point where masks will be a crucial tool used to rebound from the pandemic, but they will continue to symbolize something more than an effort to slow the spread of COVID-19.